In this video, I want to talk about the difference between random or non-random situations and random on random situations. Okay, so let's talk about random or non-random first. So, um, essentially, in a lot of situations when you're drawing a scatter graph and you're working with them, uh, you have your independent variable along the horizontal axis. Okay, and dependent variable on the vertical axis. Now, the independent variable uh, for this may well be a control variable, okay? And in the cases that we're going to consider, uh, it is non-random, okay? Because if I'm controlling it, it will be non-random. So, this will be your non-random variable, and your new vertical axis will be your random variable, okay? Because uh, the whole point is that you are collecting your data. It might be um, <clears throat> different levels of fertilizer, for example, and then you will figure out the uh, yield of your crop, and those values that you get from that will be random. Okay. Now, when you plot your data, uh, what you're interested in, so you you plot your data, maybe something like that, and then you draw your regression line. Okay. Now, the regression line that you are interested in here is looking at the y values that you are getting. So you're only interested in the regression line that is y on x. Okay, so this would have to be a y on x regression line. So given um, an x value, okay, so given a certain amount of fertilizer, what would be the yield of my crop? So you would go from your x-axis your non-random variable, go up here, and then you'll be able to predict your uh, yield of the crop. Okay, so you would do it that way. So it makes sense to predict a random variable from a non-random variable. It does not make sense to predict a non-random variable using a random variable, so going the other way. So when you have random or non-random, you can only find the y on x regression line. Okay, You wouldn't uh, find the product moment correlation coefficient for this, um, for similar reasons. Okay, So um, because of one of the variables being non-random. Okay. When it's random on random, however, so this could be uh, looking at um, weight versus height, for example. So random on random. It may well be that when we talk about independent and dependent, um, it's not obvious as to which one is the independent variable, which one's the dependent variable. Um, it might be that we don't think either of them uh, depends on the other. Um, and because they're coming from random data sets, um, and we're looking for bivariate normal as well, you kind of get that oval shape, okay, that elliptical shape. Okay, and consequently, when you're working with random on random, um, you can then look at minimizing the vertical distances, the squares of the vertical distances, or the squares of the horizontal distances. And so, you get two possible regression lines, okay, both of which must go through x bar, y bar, of course. And if this is your uh, y on x, and this is your x on y, if you have an x value and you want to predict the y value, then you can go up to your line, your y on x line, and then find the corresponding y value. If, on the other hand, you have a y value and you want to predict the x value, you go to the x on y regression line and then read off your value that way. Okay, so notice how I've got to go to different lines when doing that. 
So you can only work out the x on y regression line when you've got a situation of it being random on random. If it's random or non-random, we have to only use the y on x regression line.